Hi, Lee. Hey, David. How are you? I am excellent despite my sunburn. How about you? I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm excited I have stuff to share, but do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, I will show you. Oh, that's right. What is half of the fiber that you sent me? Ooh, oh, that's right. How, how are you liking it so far? <laughs> that's a You're resounding good. Is Ooh. half of it spun up? I like it. This. Friend. It was enormously difficult. The learning curve was very, very steep. Really? It was extraordinarily steep. Yeah. Like, I really struggled. Like what, like, what made it different than what you're used to? I could not get enough twist in it. So what was happening is as I was spinning, even this on the end, like it just like pulls apart. Literally just becomes like fluff in the air. Oh. And I'm going to figure out how I could get enough twist in the fiber. That's interesting. Yeah, wool seems to be much more elastic and have give, and it just, That's man, it just like spun out of my hands. That's fascinating. Yeah, I nearly quit many times. It took about a solid two hours before I got my groove in to like actually spin. Oh, really? Interesting. It was an interesting exercise. I'm excited to spin up the other half, and I'm excited to see if it will apply at all. Okay. I mean, I was like, spin apart. I'm interested to get the, like, once you're done beyond that, just to kind of see how it comes back. Now, going forward, would you ever do a packa again? I would prefer my next experience to be a blend. A blend, okay. Yeah, on its own, it is, it is quite finicky for someone like me who's not super experienced and has mostly done wool. Gotcha, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Because I felt so accomplished once I was finally able to get into the spinning groove. I was like, I have succeeded. Victory is mine. I felt so victorious finally figuring out how to do it. But it, it, it was a ramp up. Okay. That's interesting. Like, uh, that's fascinating. Yeah, it's high quality. Like, not going to knock it. It was very consistently prepped. I thought that the fiber was wonderful once I got a hold of it. But, I mean, there aren't a ton of internet resources that I could find in terms of how to spin it other than, like, Playing with I don't it. know. I need to find more resources on how to work with these different fibers. So if you guys know any, let us know in the comments because Please. I would be very appreciative. Yes. Uh, I want to hear other people's thoughts that are spinners because that would be yeah. awesome. So my goal is this week to get this spun up and then... Uh, Apply it the following week and then have it in your hands the week after. Sounds good. I'm excited for we'll it. We'll see how it's like. I have no idea. I'm ready. I am ready for it. So, if you spit, if you knit too fast, it'll fall apart in your hands. <laughs> that, I should just have a video of that just like that, like and it explodes. It just as I kept on going, it just kept on like shearing apart. Oh, that's so fascinating. Mm -hmm. that I, I'm glad that like, I'm glad that, that it was a nice experiment, but it's for future. His dedication to making sure you get this fiber. I, I'm glad that at least in hindsight you're enjoying it, just as, as an amusement, if nothing else. Immediately after it was fun, but okay. man, the slog. I'm well. I'm glad that you got past that hump of actual figuring it out. I am not a quitter. No, you are not. But I dreamed of quitting. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. I'm excited for it. <laughs> Let's see what you knit up. Um, I have a couple things. And I'll, um, so I've been doing polls lately on Facebook about like all my one skein stuff. So like my latest one I actually did uh, today um, was a scarf. Oh, I saw that on Insta. Yeah, and it was so nice because like. Um, it was a little bit fancy and like thick yarn, you know, like the yarn itself was just thick, so I actually happily was able to pull out my huge, my huge ass needles again, so like it was nice to um, pull them out and use them again, because I used them What's a lot. Like a 20? Yeah, 20 millimeters. Um, Nailed it. Yeah, like it, it, it definitely takes a little while 
took a little while to get back in, like, to you, uh, used to them again, because they are, like, even if you use, like, 9, 10, 11 gauge, like, these are just still huge, like, huge, so, once I got back into it, it, it was good, but also, um, also it took, like, an hour to do with the scarf, because, you know, every time you finish a roll, it's, like, half an inch, so, it's just, Easy breezy, which was nice, but I'm really liking it. I have another pull up just because I never know what to do with one skein. Like, I'm so used to having multiples and doing bigger projects. It's just like, I got nothing for one. <laughs> nothing for yeah, one. Rough. Yeah, but I mean, speaking of, I just finished a blanket, which I'm happy about. Again, a little bit thicker yarn. Yeah. So, it's all shades of pink. That's beautiful. Thank you. I didn't really want to do a complex pattern with it just because, um, it, the, again, color change, so. It's wonderful, the color change. How many skeins is it? Four. There's four. Thanks. Yeah. Um, but it, it was nice, um, enjoyable, but now I'm working with some super fine yarn right now, so, which is, which is fine. I'm just... My experimentation is more into blocking right now, just because I actually got, for the first time ever, I showed down this years ago, like, actual blocking mats and pins. Life-changing. Yeah, and it, like, it's so interesting, like, it, there's a little bit, like, getting used to, like, how to do it correctly, but also, like, I have so much stuff that I've been so lazy with in terms of, like, blocking. Like, I, like, I got one set, I have, like, nine mat like one foot by one foot mats i'm debating buying like one or two more kits just because especially since i do so many blankets like yeah i feel like i need the space that's how they get you man yeah and that way also since i have so many scarves i can do like two three scarves at a time i might have a problem <laughs> Oh no, it's not you might have a problem. <laughs> yes, but as slowly but surely I am I will block everything and start listing on that say again because I've been super bad with that too, so Yeah, you need to get on that because uh, I mean your limited edition uh pull apart alpaca fiber <laughs> scarf really gonna sell the most. I'm so excited for the yarn. So excited. Not as excited as I am for it to be made, truly. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't show, like, at all, like, there's no, like, there's nothing. <laughs> it has been a labor of love. That's good. So I think we will end it on such a remarkable note and excitement, and we'll see you next week, guys. Hi, guys. Bye.